The ground beneath California is trembling with a new rhythm. Scientists are listening, their instruments picking up a disturbing signal from deep within the earth. Under the eastern Sierra Nevada, the Long Valley Caldera is showing signs of renewed activity. Magma is on the move. Pressure is building, like a shaken soda bottle. The question is not if it will be released, but when and how. A supervolcano can alter the global climate, trigger crop failures, and ground air travel. The giant is not just stirring, it's beginning to open its eyes. The Earth is sending us a clear warning. To understand the threat, you must first understand the scale of Long Valley. This is no ordinary volcano, it's a caldera, a massive cauldron-like depression in the Earth's crust. Stretching 20 miles long and 11 miles wide, it could swallow San Francisco whole. Its serene lakes and hot springs mask the fury just below. The caldera sits at the edge of the basin and range province, where the Earth's crust is stretched thin, allowing magma to rise. When it last erupted on a superscale, it didn't build a mountain, it created a void. The ground collapsed into the emptied magma chamber, forming the vast depression we see today. The magma chamber is a complex, multi-layered system, still holding hundreds of cubic miles of molten material. Recent activities suggest this system is being re-energized, with new magma increasing pressure and volatility. For residents and tourists, the geothermal features are both attraction and warning. Changes in these springs provide crucial clues about the processes deep underground. The beauty of Long Valley is inseparable from its danger. 760,000 years ago, Eastern California was torn apart by an eruption of unimaginable force. The Long Valley Caldera was born in an event more than 2,000 times larger than Mount St. Helens. Over 150 cubic miles of rock and ash were ejected, blanketing thousands of square miles. Imagine ash several feet deep covering all of California. A colossal column of ash and gas blocked out the sun, while pyroclastic flows incinerated everything in their path. The deposits from these flows are hundreds of feet thick, a permanent tombstone for a prehistoric landscape. The energy released equaled thousands of nuclear bombs. Ash from the blast reached as far as Nebraska and Kansas, poisoning water and choking rivers. The eruption injected sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, likely triggering a volcanic winter and global cooling. The ecosystems of an entire continent were altered by this single event. This cataclysmic history is a critical warning. The magma system that produced the Bishop Tuff eruption is still there. The caldera is the result of that ancient blast, but the engine that powered it is only sleeping. Understanding the last super eruption is essential for appreciating Long Valley's hazard. The Earth's power dwarfs human experience, and past events are our best guide to the future. The Great Eruption was just the beginning for Long Valley. The caldera has never been truly quiet, producing smaller eruptions and ongoing unrest. The Mono Inyo crater's volcanic chain began forming around 220,000 years ago, with eruptions every few centuries, the most recent, just 600 years ago. The system is very much alive. In 1980, four strong earthquakes rocked the region, and the caldera's center bulged upward by nearly a foot, a sign of magma movement. The event triggered public anxiety and economic disruption in Mammoth Lakes. The ground continued to swell through the 1980s and 90s, with earthquake swarms and deadly carbon dioxide releases. The unrest eventually subsided, but the magma didn't disappear. It simply stalled beneath the surface. This episode taught scientists that Long Valley is dynamic and sensitive, able to shift from quiet to agitated quickly. The 1980 events led to the monitoring network in place today. They provide a crucial benchmark for interpreting the rapid changes we're seeing now. The caldera breathes like a living creature. Its restlessness is a warning. The story is far from over. Today, the instruments monitoring Long Valley tell a new and urgent story. The caldera's pulse is quickening. Ground deformation is accelerating, with the resurgent dome rising faster than at any point since the 1980s. Several inches of uplift per year signal the magma chamber is swelling with fresh molten rock. Swarms of micro-earthquakes map the magma's upward path, while gas emissions, carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, are increasing. The rise in sulfur dioxide is especially concerning, indicating magma is just a few miles from the surface. These three lines of evidence, uplift, 
seismic shifts, and gas emissions paint a coherent and worrying picture. The system is experiencing a significant magmatic intrusion. The current rate of change sets this episode apart from past restlessness. This new inhale is deeper and faster, suggesting a substantial volume of magma is on the move. The volcano is waking up. The question is no longer whether the system is active, but what it will do next. Scientists are on high alert. The world waits for answers. If Long Valley erupts, the consequences could be severe. The most likely scenario is a moderate eruption along the Mono Inyo craters chain, explosive blasts, new craters, and ash columns. Mammoth Lakes sits directly in the path of potential activity. Volcanic ashfall would blanket the landscape, collapsing buildings, contaminating water, and shutting down transportation. Pyroclastic flows, superheated currents of gas and debris could devastate the area. While a smaller eruption is more probable, a large caldera forming event can't be dismissed. A major eruption would generate an enormous ash cloud, grounding air traffic and causing agricultural collapse in California's Central Valley. The economic disruption would be immense with global consequences. A large eruption would inject sulfur aerosols into the stratosphere, leading to global cooling and crop failures. The risk is not just local, it's global. Long Valley's awakening is a stark reminder of our vulnerability. The forces beneath our feet can reshape the world. Preparing for an eruption starts with understanding who and what is at risk. The USGS has produced detailed hazard maps for Long Valley, outlining areas most likely to be affected. The highest danger zones are along the Mono Inyo Craters chain and within the caldera. Mammoth Lakes is in one of the most dangerous areas, threatened by pyroclastic flows, lava, and heavy ashfall. Highway 395, the main artery, runs through the caldera. An eruption could sever this lifeline, complicating evacuation. The challenge of evacuating thousands on a two-lane highway is immense. Early warning and coordinated response are essential. Hazard maps also show the far-reaching effects of ashfall, potentially impacting cities hundreds of miles away. Even a moderate eruption could disrupt transportation, power, and water systems over a vast area. These maps are essential tools for emergency planning. For officials, they are not just scientific documents, they are guides for life or death decisions. The reality is sobering, but knowledge is power. To understand what's happening beneath our feet, we need to translate complex science into clear terms. Dr. Evelyn Reed, a leading seismologist, compares the magma chamber to a sponge soaking up molten rock. Now, a new faucet of hotter, gas-rich magma is being added, increasing temperature and pressure. The swelling sponge is the ground uplift. The cracking sounds are earthquake swarms. The steam is increased gas emissions. The system is becoming critically pressurized. This isn't just reheating old magma, it's adding a volatile new ingredient. Magma mixing can rapidly increase pressure, like shaking a can of soda. However, Dr. Reed cautions, just because the faucet is on doesn't mean an eruption is certain. The new magma could stall and cool without reaching the surface. The volcano might simply let off steam and go back to sleep. Scientists are watching the pressure gauge relentlessly. The system is on heightened alert, but not yet at the threshold of eruption. Vigilance is key. In the face of this threat, the key is not panic, but preparation. Emergency officials are updating response plans, outlining evacuation routes, and communication strategies. Public meetings inform residents about the situation and hazard maps. Every household should have an emergency kit. Water, food, medication, dust masks, and a plan for evacuation. Knowing evacuation routes is essential. The scientific community's role is to provide early warning. Long Valley's monitoring network is among the world's most advanced, designed to detect subtle changes. The USGS alert system will communicate any changes immediately. Scientific vigilance is the foundation of public safety. The situation at Long Valley is a reminder of nature's power and the importance of science. The message, stay calm, be informed, and have a plan. By preparing and trusting the science, we can face the future with readiness. The giant may be stirring, but we are not powerless.